Toyota has just upped its ante into the world of electric vehicles. After a somewhat lackluster entry into the segment with the BZ4X, Toyota decided to heavily invest in a revolutionary new product that would grant its future EVs an upper hand against its competition. So, let's not waste any time and explore Toyota's insane new 750-mile battery, which shocks the entire industry. First things first, what is this new battery type? The new battery type in question is Toyota's all-new solid-state battery. Solid-state batteries have, for quite some time now, been proposed as a replacement for lithium-ion batteries. What's even more interesting is that solid-state batteries aren't a new concept at all. Believe it or not, solid-state batteries have existed since the 1830s. However, because the technology for such batteries hasn't been properly developed, most of these propositions and concepts never left the idea stage. Thankfully, though, Toyota decided that the potency of solid-state batteries is way too big to be disregarded, which is why the Japanese giant decided to put an imperative on exploring and developing solid-state batteries. And you know what the real kicker is? Toyota's solid-state batteries are still lithium-based, despite being so much more potent. Which begs the question, what makes them different from regular lithium-ion batteries? Well, there are quite a lot of differences between the two, believe it or not. However, it can be boiled down to a completely different approach towards the battery's electrolytes and where they come from. You see, lithium-ion and lithium-polymer batteries consist of three key components, an anode, a cathode, and an electrolyte. Both the anode and the cathode are typically made of materials that can intercalate during both the charging and the discharging process. The electrolyte allows the movement of lithium ions between the negative and positive electrodes, that is, the anode and the cathode. The electrolyte itself is either a gel-like substance or a liquid. The reason behind going for a liquid or gel electrolyte is of a purely logistical nature. There's virtually no need for maintenance. Lithium-ion batteries can go through their entire lifespan without ever being maintained if they don't get physically damaged. But when the battery gets damaged, it becomes an extreme safety hazard. This is because lithium-ion batteries are highly reactive and can easily self-combust if there is even a little bit of thermal runaway. And that's exactly where solid-state batteries come into play. Unlike lithium-ion batteries, solid-state batteries, as the name would suggest, switch out liquid electrolytes for solid ones. These electrolytes, which are usually made either out of polymer or ceramic, allow for an extraordinarily efficient flow of lithium ions, all while remaining in a solid state. And while this seems like a minor difference, Seeing as the rest of the battery is more or less like lithium-ion batteries, their real-world utility and performance are worlds apart. So, with the key differences out of the way, it's now time to understand first things first, and that, of course, is the safety, which is a massive improvement over a regular lithium-ion battery. Since lithium-ion batteries tend to combust or even explode when physically damaged, Getting into car accidents became even more hazardous than with regular internal combustion engine vehicles. Thankfully, solid-state batteries will eliminate the possibility of going up in flames, no matter what. This would make cars not just safer than regular EVs, but also fossil fuel engines too, making them effectively the safest vehicles on the road. Apart from safety, Numerous benefits will make EVs much more daily drivable. First, solid electrolytes are considerably more compact as well as noticeably lighter than regular lithium-ion batteries. This means that the batteries themselves will take up much less space than they do now, allowing the car's interior to be roomier while also making the car lighter. 
improving both efficiency and driving dynamics. Speaking of efficiency, solid-state batteries have much greater energy density. This means that they can store noticeably more energy compared to same-sized and even larger lithium-ion batteries, which, in turn, expands the vehicle's range. Toyota has stated that an EV equipped with its solid-state battery will be able to do up to 750 miles on a single charge. This way, doing long distances with an EV will finally be possible, and the range constraints will finally be a thing of the past. Oh, and once you do need to recharge the battery, you'd be delighted to hear that it'll take the battery mere minutes to achieve high levels of charge. Solid electrolytes have much higher voltage tolerances, allowing them noticeably better recharge times. According to Toyota's official reports, their solid state batteries will be capable of recharging 70% of their capacity in under 10 minutes, which is nearly as fast as refueling your car. But that's not all, as apart from being a noticeable upgrade for the owner, solid state batteries also bring a lot of improvements to the table when it comes down to manufacturing too. First, and most important, is the fact that solid state batteries have a much higher potential for rapid and streamlined production than lithium ion batteries. You see, lithium ion batteries need to be filled with liquid electrolytes before they're operational. This is a very time consuming process and requires utmost precision. And since time is money on a mass production scale, this makes lithium ion batteries very costly in the long run. Solid state batteries eliminate this phase of production as they have a solid electrolyte, making the production process virtually just an assembly of the battery. Not to mention that this also makes the battery much simpler than traditional lithium ion batteries. And as we all know, simplicity is both the key to production and real world functionality. Another key benefit is the fact that solid state batteries have a longer potential lifespan. Since the electrolytes are made from polymers and ceramics, they suffer from noticeably less chemical degradation compared to liquid or gel electrolytes, allowing the battery to be used more extensively before its capacity starts degrading. So, it's pretty evident that solid state batteries are superior to regular batteries in every possible way. Or are they because, if they are, and if they were proposed almost two centuries ago, well, unfortunately, all is not black and white. And despite being so ambitious, solid state batteries have a few glaring issues that prevented them from seeing widespread use. First, and by far the biggest drawback of using solid state batteries, is their extremely short real world life expectancy. Yes, they do have the potential to work much longer than regular batteries. However, that requires maintenance. This means that the electrolytes need to be checked regularly and replaced if they show signs of considerable degradation. If left unattended, solid state batteries can form dendrites, which are lithium metal structures that grow inside the battery. Dendrites can cause short circuiting in the battery and while that won't lead to any major safety hazards, it will surely reduce the battery's capacity very rapidly, shortening its lifespan and lowering its overall performance. Furthermore, despite being potentially simpler and cheaper to make when mass-produced, the simple truth is that the technology was always far too advanced for any kind of mass production, which makes them both more expensive and more complex to make. Also, while solid-state batteries are cheaper and simpler to make, solid electrolytes most definitely aren't. The manufacturing process is still very limited due to solid electrolytes being largely unexplored, which means that making them requires the utmost precision. But don't worry. Toyota has gone to great lengths to mitigate or outright completely remove all the above-mentioned issues 
of solid-state batteries. Toyota announced that they expect solid-state batteries to not just be on par with regular lithium-ion batteries in terms of life expectancy, but to be even better in this regard, with their prototypes being able to cover over 500,000 miles without any significant loss of maximum capacity. That's why the development of their version of solid-state batteries is taking so long. Also, despite being more expensive to make now, Toyota states that they aim for a larger production output of solid-state batteries, which would make them similarly priced, if not cheaper, to make than lithium-ion batteries. So, with that in mind, it's time for us to answer the most important question. When are we going to see a full-scale adoption of such batteries? Well, we aren't too far away from a full-on release. Believe it or not, Toyota's CEO, Koji Sato, has recently announced that the company will start making solid-state batteries as of 2027. Sato is confident that the current iteration of the battery is already good to go. However, he also wants to keep testing them for any potential flaws. Plus, this way, Toyota will be able to focus on simplifying the manufacturing process and making these batteries truly mass production ready. But Toyota is known for working its way around issues and finding the best solutions, which is why they recently started working on an all-new engine type, an ammonia-powered engine, which aims to combine the ecological component of EVs and hydrogen engines and the convenience of fuel combustion engines. If you'd like to learn more about this new engine, be sure to check out this video.